Busan Gima International Airport is well known for its unique approach, VOR DME Alpha, then circle to land runway 18 right. Instead of the normal 45 seconds downwind leg, circling runway 18 right downwind leg should be much shorter because of the mountains to the north of the airport. Here are some of the flight trackings on the circling runway 18 right. Maintaining approach course 045 degrees on VOR DME Alpha approach is the same. However, from the turning of the downwind leg, the tracks are very different. Circling radius should be between 1.7 mile and 3.7 miles for the category Charlie and Delta aircraft on one-way run eight right. Therefore, maintaining wider downwind leg gives more room for the pilots. However, due to the mountains on the downwind leg, approximately 2.6 miles is the best in my experience. Kime International Airport is the base airport for the Air Busan, where I fly for. Air Busan pilots are the ones who are familiar with the circling 1-8 right approach. I'm going to explain how we're doing. Air Busan's fleet is, consists of A320, A321, and A321neo. So the procedure will be based on the A320 series. First of all, setups. On the secondary page, select runway 18 right. Then insert fixed information, RK, PK, 18 right, radial 272, which is a beam radial of runway 18 right threshold. Normally, ATC gives radar heading to join the final approach course, inbound 045 radial of KMH. Sometimes, direct Oblin is given. Ovlin is 15 DM8 DME KMH. Crossing altitude at Ovlin is 4,000 feet. I usually extend flaps 1 and 2 before reaching Ovlin. In most cases, you will get the tailwind during the approach. In the Airbus 320, we use track FPA mode. One mile prior to Ovlin, which is 16 DME KMH, preset minus 2.5 degrees FPA. At 15.3 DME KMH, begin descent at, at minus 2.5 degrees. During the descent, lower the landing gear and extend the flaps to 3. Final approach fix crossing altitude is 2,600 feet. I usually reach the altitude 2 miles ahead. One mile prior to final approach fix, preset FPA to minus 3.5 degrees.
0.3 mile prior to final approach fix, which is 7.3 DME KMH, begin descent at minus 3.5 degrees. Set go round altitude to 6,000 feet. At 1,800 feet, push to level off. It is 100 feet above the minimum, which is 1,700 feet. As soon as the aircraft levels off at 1,700 feet, preset track to 002. At 4.5 DME KMH, pull heading to fly track 002. It will give you approximately 2.6 nautical mile radius. Flaps full, activate secondary page, clear PPOS and landing checklist will be followed. Two groups of high-rise buildings are good ground references for the downwind leg. They look like this. Check the abeam of runway 18 right threshold. On the captain's seat, you can see a red-colored bridge on your left-hand side. It looks like this and is situated almost abeam of runway 18 right threshold. On a beam position, disconnect autopilot. Start chrono. Begin descent with 700 to 800 FPM. Flight director is off and set runway track 182. At 26 to 28 seconds on chrono, Turn right for base leg. You can see a highway. The highway is no, a no cross zone. I repeat, it's a no cross zone. The time, 26 to 28 seconds, will be reduced one second for every 10 knot tailwind on the downwind leg. Red and white colored checkerboard is a very good ground reference. Fly towards it. Maintain 7 to 800 FPM descent. Find the poppy. The poppy on a runway 18 right is hard to find and has 12 degree offset. Closer to the final course, it will become more accurate. Adjust the descent rate. Vertical deviation indicator on ND becomes accurate as we get closer to the final. When three white, one red, or two white, two red on the pappy, the proper altitude is between 900 and 700 feet. Find the pumping station on the ground, which is a good reference point for the final turn. It looks like this. Fly over it, then align to the runway 18 right final. If you see the guidance light lighting system on the ground for the final turn, that will be a bonus. But for me, I don't follow them. Just the vertical deviation indicator and Pappy for altitude and alignment. You will be on course and on glide slope by 400 feet if you fly like me. The aircraft should be stabilized by 300 feet AGL according to Air Busan's policy. Otherwise, execute a go around. Be careful. Do not confuse one way runway 18 right with runway 18 left. Runway 18 right's threshold has been displaced approximately 2,000 feet. It's easy to identify.
I hope my explanation will be helpful for the pilots who aren't that familiar with Kima International Airport. Happy and safe flying.